in this video i'm going to show you how to make this dress that i'm wearing it's a, it is a shirt dress uh it has a gathered in the bottom this is the fabric i have two and a half meters i don't know the name of the fabric uh, so i started by drafting a pattern so it will be easier for me so I'm drafting the back and front I'm going to use it to cut so my neck width is two and a half inch for the back the neck depth is one inch I use one inch for the front I use two and a half inch for the width and the depth is two and a half inch for the front so i went on to mark my shoulder uh, my shoulder is 16 i divide by two so i mark eight inches at the top there then i came down by one inch for my shoulder slope uh, so then i so i went down by eight inch for my armhole depth then i drew a line then I went on to draw my chest line. That is my chest line. Um, so the length of the shirt. Is so I'm going to add it when I'm cutting on the fabric. So yeah. So then I mark the center of my armhole depth. Then I came in by half an inch for the front armhole. So I divided my bust by four. So I got nine and a half. Then I added one inch for sewing allowance. So I went on to draw the front and the back armhole. That is the front armhole. Yeah. So then I just drew, join the chest line in the bottom. Yeah, because this is a, a free dress. So they are just measured 15 inches. You can measure the any length that you desire so then i draw a curve line i don't want it to be straight yeah so i'm going to use this pattern to cut both the front and the back yeah yeah so this is it this is my pattern so i'm gonna start by cutting my back so this is it uh the back I will cut it on fold then I added some few inches at the bottom because the pattern is too short yeah so uh, also going to add uh, some sewing allowance so this is it I added half an inch sewing allowance there and at the armhole I extended it see so now I'm cutting the front see cut the so I'm gonna leave half an inch for joining the my pla my button stand for the front yeah it's the same thing so I cut two pieces for the front so yeah this is on my pieces for the shirt for the shirts this is the back so i'm going to join them at the shoulders and on the side seam for the shirt when i'm sewing the shirt so here yeah, i was drawing my sleeve so the fabric is on fold so i went on to mark five inches then i drew a line or also draw a starting line then I measured uh, my round my sleeve. I added sewing allowance for the sleeve. Then I drew a line. 
then I went on to uh, draw the land of my sleeve then um, I'm sorry that you can't see then I drew a care for my my sleeve yeah, then I went on to cut it um, gonna cut it to a sleeve for my shirt so this is my sleeve that's how I'm cutting yeah so this is the center of my sleeve so I went on to cut to a sleeve so here is my two sleeve uh for the front i'm going to my cut some half an inch i'm going to cut half an inch trim it by half an inch then i'm gonna notch it to indicate that is a front that is the back yeah so I'm gonna fold it to the center, then I'm gonna mark half of the sleeve there. Yeah, so this is the shirt I have sewn it on the side seam and the shoulders. I went on to overlock it my shirt. So for for the bottom part you're gonna uh measure it and divide it by 1.5 to get the get that part for for your shirt then i'm going to cut it gonna cut so this is the layer the setting i i use when i am gathering my fabric on my sewing machine so i'm going to sew two lines you see the fabric is already starting to get a, to get a, to make getters so when I'm done sewing these two lines I'm going to pull the the threads so I will make getters you see this is the fabric I'm going to pull the the bobbing threads together my fabric you see see then I'm going to pin it so yeah I am pulling the the cotton so make getters for the bottom of the shirt yeah please take your time when you're making the getters so you don't uh uh, break your thread when you're making getters so this is it I have pinned it I have made getters and I have pinned it to the shirt bottom of the shirt you see make sure that you make even getters when you're making getters so I have pinned it so now I'm going to see and take it to the sewing machine I'm sewing in between the lines that I I used to get up my fabric so I'm going to sew sew the whole so this is it after I was done sewing I'm also gonna unpick the threads that I used when I was gathering yeah so to finish it then I'm going to overlock it yeah so you're gonna measure the center front then you're gonna cut two strips of fabric this is my buttons then the width of the fabric is I'm using three inches I'm using three inches for my button stand so I cut two then I also iron on interfacing on my bucket stand so button stand then I pin it to my center front you see then I'm going to sew it I pinned it on the wrong side of the fabric on the shirt so now you see i pin it on both side of my setup fly right? then i'm going to fold it like that see i'm sewing it on my sewing machine joining my button stand to my shirt 
yeah i'm joining it to my shirt so this is it i have ironed it after i was done sewing so now i'm going to fold a half an inch on the on that piece then i'm going to uh place it on top of the seam that we just made then i'm going to pin and top stitch you see i have pinned it then now i'm going to top stitch my uh, my button stain to finish it so here i was sewing it top stitching my button stand to the shirt yeah we're gonna do the same thing for the other but since then you see yeah so i have done i was done sewing it to to my my shirt so now i'm going to fold the bottom of my shirt two times then i'm going to hem it all around so finish the hem of my shirt then we're gonna work on the yeah so this is me uh hemming my my shirt dress yeah so this is it i was done hemming my dress then i ironed it yeah so these are my sleeve i have a separate video for the sleeve so now i'm going to place the the side the seam to seam the side seams of the shirts and this of the sleeve together then i mark the center of the sleeve i'm going to match it with the shoulder seam of the shirt then i'm going to uh sew it pin it I mean so i have uh, ew, I'm So now I went on to sew my sleeve all around and I'm done I'm going to iron it then I'm going to overlock it if you don't have an overlocker you can use a zigzag uh, stitch on your sewing machine yeah so this is it I was done with my sleeve so yeah this is my uh my collar i'm just gonna mark the center of my corner collar then i'm gonna place this sleeve pin it on the wrong side of my shirt then i'm going to sew it uh the video for the the collar is all is on my channel you can watch it if you like yeah so i'm gonna match the center of the collar and of the shirt then i'm going to pin it pin it together then i'm going to sew it with my 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 sewing machine uh so yeah i was sewing it my collar sewing my collar to my shirt uh, when I'm done, I'm going to uh, trim and notch the seam that I just made. Then I'm going to iron it. Then I'm going to finish my collar. See, I have pinned it. I folded it half an inch. Then I'm going to finish my, my collar by top stitching it yeah so take your time when you're sewing your collar so when i'm done and sewing the collar i'm going to take it and iron it to finish it yeah so yeah this is my shirt all done all i have to do is just put button hold and button yeah, so this is my shirt with the buttons. 
yeah i'm done with my shirt you see it is so nice yeah this is me wearing the shirts yeah thank you for watching